Hey Jenna, I wanted to record a quick video on how to do the tags for your social media. Um, so I think you're already set up for um, the registration on the referral program. I want to say we went through the tax update if we didn't, um, if, it, if it had that prompt for you when we were on the call. If not, you'll need to update the tax information under your account info um, and then um, business entity. But to set up the tag is the other section of it. So you, let's go into Seller Central and you're going to go into your campaign manager right here. And then when you get there, you're going to go into the measurement and reporting and Amazon attribution. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click create a campaign. And remember, we need to have a separate um, link for um, whatever the social platform, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, website, whatever, and then also for the products that you're doing. So I already set up a, um, a tag link for you for all of your products to go to your website. So if it was just a general campaign you wanted to send, um, I'll include that link in this email that you'll have. But any future ones that you want to send in to focus on, this is how you would do it. So you'll just create it manually. And let's go ahead and say, um, so this name of the campaign is basically for your reference to make sense. The way I do it, let's go ahead and set this up for Facebook. This is going to be a link for Facebook's, and let's do your cooler backpack. And um, we're going to do it to the parent listing. Okay. So then the next section is what products do you want to go ahead and advertise on? So let's go ahead and search it. So I'm going to go ahead and do backpack here and search. And then I'm going to add all the backpacks on here. So I'll just add all of them or you can click add, add, add. So if you're wanting to specifically target, you know, a certain line, you can add whatever you're wanting to in that group. So just make sure that you put your campaign settings uh, when you name it, that it makes sense to you. So you can use that one over and over again. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the same um, name as my ad group. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and say, oops, let me move my, there we go. We're going to say the um, publisher is Facebook. So let's go down to Facebook. There we go. And it's just like social. Just leave it as social. It doesn't matter. Now the click through URL, this is the page that you're sending them to. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one of these here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this and copy the URL and come back in here and paste it right there. So that's the URL to one of the children so that it'll take it to that listing. And then you just go ahead and click create. So it's going to take a little bit. It's going to populate. Once it does, it comes up and it tells you. So here's your campaign and here is um, the tag. So you can go ahead and click this. This is the URL that you'll use in your um, advertising and posts that people will click on to come to your page. And then, then it'll get attributed to the referral program. Also, what's nice about this is that, um, let's go back to our campaigns list. So if you wanted to see the attributions to outside advertising, you could come here again, go to Amazon Attribution, and then it's going to tell you all the different campaigns you have going on here and what kind of results and things you've gotten for it. So that, that'll be helpful to, to see how your campaigns are working because you can see if they click on your end, but you don't know if they actually made the purchase on Amazon's end. So this is something that you can measure really easily by. So let me know if you have any questions. You can set these up at will, whatever makes sense. Thanks. Bye.